So what is up Pim Toes and Buffaloes and welcome back today to another video and to another episode of Q&A Sunday, the series where you guys ask me some weird, wonderful and random questions along with some other serious questions so that you guys get an entertaining video and also get to find out a bit more about me. So without any further ado, let's get into this week's questions. Remember, if you want to leave me a question that you want me to answer, be sure to leave it in the comment section of this video and if you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like rating. That's fantastic. Anyway. Let's move on to the first question, which, as always, is a bang, marry, kill from the badass gamer 141. It's the female YouTuber edition. Oh god, this could be awkward. Okay, Miss Heart Attack, I Justine, Girl Gone Gamer. Okay, for starters, I wouldn't want to kill Miss Heart Attack or bang Miss Heart Attack because obviously she is YouTubable's girl. So we'll marry her and then divorce her so that YouTubable can have his girl back. That sounds like the most sensible option in terms of me not getting my channel destroyed by YouTubeable HD for banging or killing his girlfriend. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna kill I Justine simply for the reason that she <laughs> really annoyed me. I don't know why she annoyed me, but when she was doing the presenting at the COD Championships or whatever it was, she was I can't remember which one it was, but um, for some reason I just found her really frustrating. Like, although she does gaming, for some reason I didn't think she should have been there talking about COD. I don't know, that's just my opinion. But um, I guess we'll have to bang Girl Gone Gamer. That's that one answered. Okay, Emmanuel Emanike. If you had one cartoon character to talk to, who would you have a conversation with and why? This is a daft question, my friend. But anyway, you're right, buddy. Do you want to go out for a drink tonight? No, but excuse me for being retarded, but um, I don't actually want to drink with you because I don't know who you are. Yeah, but come on. I'm going to pay for all your drinks. Why would you not want to come out with me? Wait a second. That is the smartest thing I've ever heard anyone say about anything. So yeah, quite obviously, I'd have a conversation with Peter Griffin because it would mean that I wouldn't have to venture out of my house, I could sit in my room, I could be led in my bed, I could be on the toilet, and I could have a conversation with him. So that's that's the car, I can't even talk, cartoon character that I'll have a conversation with. The next one, once again, is another Bang Mary Kill from Ed K8, sticking on the Family Guy theme, Peter Griffin, Quagmire, Cleveland, Bang, Marry, Kill. Um, so that you guys don't go and say, Oh, Buffalo is racist against black people. We're going to kill Quagmire. Because oh, if I kill Cleveland, yeah. you guys will think I'm racist. So we're going to we're gonna bang Cleveland. All jokes aside about black penis. Gay! And we're going to marry Peter Griffin simply because I think me and him have a lot in common. I think we would... We wouldn't really need to get divorced. I don't think there would be a dull moment. And I think we'd get along just fine. So we're going to marry Peter Griffin. That answers that question. Okay. Cameron0801. Will you play with other YouTubers? In brackets, Minnesota Burns, KYL Speedy, and Vanos. Um, I've got Vanos on my friends list. He's an awesome dude. Um, I've been speaking to him now for a few months, actually. Way before my whole Peter Griffin series really kicked off on YouTube. Vanos is a really cool guy. Um, probably we all get to play with each other soon, but the difficult thing is time zones. Like, he's over there, I'm in the UK, it's always going to be at least five hour difference in terms of times of playing from people from the US, so it's always difficult to get on at the same time. Um, uh, it would be great to work with Burnsy maybe one day on, I don't know, he does like a presenter series on S&D where he commentates over people playing, being noobs and stuff, that would be cool. Or maybe even a mum on the mic troll with Minnesota Burns, that would be awesome. But, you know, Burns is a cool guy. He uploads a lot of my videos to Troll Arc. I have a lot of respect for him and obviously thankful for what he's made possible for my channel. So, it would be cool to work with those guys. And, of course, Speedy is just the freaking legend without being an ass licker to all the other trollers in the game, so to speak. Speedy's awesome. His videos are incredible. All of the crew, really funny guys. It would be awesome to play with them one day. Who knows? Maybe. Okay, the next question is from Callum Malone. What would you rather do? Be best friends with PewDiePie, own Microsoft, or be a guest star on Family Guy? So I've tried to use a bit of sensible logic to answer this question. Um, I don't really like PewDiePie's videos, so I'll just eliminate that one. I don't want to be best friends with him. Um, own Microsoft or be a guest star on Family Guy? Um, obviously, you guys know I love Family Guy, so it would be awesome to be on Family Guy, but if I owned Microsoft, not only would I be one rich motherfucker, but I'd probably have the social power, the financial power, to be able to instigate me going on to Family Guy. Because I guess if you offered Seth MacFarlane a pretty large sum, or even just try to showcase a talent of some sort to make a Family Guy episode awesome, 
then I, I don't think he'd say no to someone who owns Microsoft to be a guest star. But, um, the only problem would be I wouldn't be able to be Peter Griffin. Because I could hardly say to Seth MacFarlane, look, I know you run this show. I know you're the voices behind pretty much every f***er on this bloody TV program. But I'd like to be Peter Griffin for this episode. You couldn't do that, because obviously he's the man. He is the real deal, so... I don't know who I'd be, but I'd like to be the owner of Microsoft and then use my power to get on to Family Guy. Wow, that really didn't need to be that long-winded. The last question is from Tommy Boy. When you troll, do you feel sorry for the person? Um, I, I don't usually feel sorry for them, but the one video I did make where I did feel really sorry for the person I trolled was the kid when I said to his mum that he was downloading pornographic camos. Like, he wasn't doing any of that shit. I just got the mum on the mic and tried to make the kid sound like a complete terrible son. Pretty much what I did. So yeah, I did feel bad. And you do feel bad because I can imagine me being like 13, 14 years old and someone trolling me on Xbox and getting my mum on the microphone because I probably would have done it. I probably would have been that stupid and naive to do that. And then they would have spoken to my mum and then my mum would have just thought I was a terrible kid. So yeah. I do feel pretty sorry for them sometimes. But anyway, guys, the bonus question is... Oh, this is... I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. The bonus question is from Invinci Bro. Try to do a Morgan Freeman impression. Oh, God. Um, I'll say this right away. This is going to be really bad, so don't for one moment think that I think that I can do an incredible Morgan Freeman impression, because this is going to suck. But you've asked me to do it, so I'm going to give it a go. It always makes me laugh. Andy Dufresne. He crawled through a river of shit and came out clean the other side. Andy Dufresne. See, it fucking sucked. Just absolutely awful. It doesn't get any worse than that. Morgan Freeman, I can't do that impression. End off. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this Q&A. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. It will be coming back once again next week. So leave your questions. But anyway, I hope you've had a great weekend and I'll speak to you guys soon. Goodbye.